What's going on guys? Jacob Ober here. It is November. The World Series has ended and that means off-season baseball transactions and the Brewers have certainly made a few as the off-season has gotten underway. They picked up the club option of Manny Pena. They traded Chase Anderson away to the Blue Jays for a prospect and the big news they declined Eric Thames' option for 2019, rendering him a free agent. So, um, this is a incredibly shocking news to me. I was almost certain that the Brewers were going to pick up Thames' option, which was about $8.5 million for the next year. Uh, and, you know, the production that Thames has brought, the consistency to first base, I mean, you know, it just felt like a felt like a you know a, a given that the Brewers were going to bring him back and eight and a half million for the level of production that Thames has brought to the Brewers is like that's a really really you know so, that's a really really team friendly deal in my opinion but the Brewers um I'm not sure what their plan is right now um but at the moment Eric Thames is going to enter free agency so uh you know uh the Brewers can still bring him back. It's not completely hopeless in that department, but it would probably be for cheaper than the team option, which I'm having a hard time understanding that because eight and a half million is incredibly reasonable and, you know, a pretty fair price for what Thames is offering the Brewers. So, uh, and as it stands, you know, the Brewers don't really have a, a legit first baseman at the moment. Like if without Thames, you know, I'm not sure what direction they go in. I mean, yeah, the, They've tried some guys there before. They've tried Braun there. They've played Shaw there. They played Perez there. Um, the guy that they got back in the uh, uh, Chase Anderson trade was also a first baseman, but he was in the, only in Double A last year. So I would be hesitant to say he's going to make any sort of a real impact at first in Milwaukee. So um, I mean, I'm not really sure the direction they're going. Like I said, I mean, this this is a deal that was very very team friendly in my opinion uh for the brewers i thought it was like a given that they're going to pick it up and you know thames you know not only the production that he offers but you know the clubhouse presence that he brings and uh the um and uh you know the clutch moments that he's brought in milwaukee as well i mean he has what three or four walk-off home runs in his time here in his three years here and he's had numerous you know really big hits really big home runs i mean he's just been you know a steady rock for the Brewers for the majority of the time he's been here with the exception of maybe the end of 2018 he didn't make the postseason roster last year but you know this year I mean he had a home run for us in the uh in the wild card game he's had uh I think a couple walk-offs this year he's had numerous you know big timely hits I mean this is a guy that I really wanted the Brewers to bring back and he's honestly one of my favorite players on the team uh the energy he brings you know the clubhouse presence and the uh the clutch bat the consistent bat um and the fact that you can play him also in the outfield as well there's a little bit of added versatility there so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me why the brewers are declining his option and trying to bring him back for cheaper because i think that the the option was a incredibly reasonable price for Thames and his production but um there is a rumor going around that the, what the brewers are trying to do is they're trying to save money to go after a bigger name this offseason in free agency. I'm not sure exactly who that would be, but, um, you know, if if cutting Thames or declining his option brings us a guy like Garrett Cole or something, which still is uh, almost out of the realm of possibility, then I'd be for it. But I don't think it's realistic for that to happen, so I'm not exactly sure why we're doing this. And, you know, I'd love to have Thames cheaper, too, but I already think that the deal is cheap enough, and for what Thames brings, you know, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me why we would decline his option. But um, obviously they've got plans of their own in the Brewers' front office. They know what they're doing. So hopefully, you know, they don't just kind of bail on it and say, well, we're we're just going to go with Braun at first base this year or something. And, you know, I, I just don't, I don't know, man. Or maybe they... Maybe they think that they're going to bring back Moustakis and Grandall, and then they're going to shift Shaw over to first base. Uh, so, you know, the, it'll be a, a Shaw and Hira uh, and uh, Moustakis infield, and then they'll still have a hole at shortstop. I'm not exactly sure what they're planning on doing there either with how inconsistent Arce has been in his time in Milwaukee. But uh, obviously there's a whole lot of different things that the Brewers uh, are going to be uh, looking at this offseason. So we'll see how it all plays out. But at the moment... I don't like the Brewers declining Eric Thames' option. I really think that he's a guy that the Brewers uh, should bring back this year. And, and, you know, hopefully they do 
find a way to, and it, it, whether that be for more than the option or less than the option, I don't know, but uh, I just really want the guy back on the team because he's been such a huge impact player for the Brewers over the past three years. But anyways, guys, though, thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the Brewers making this move? Uh, do you think that Eric Thames should be brought back on a cheaper deal, or would you rather have the Brewers move on and try to find a different first baseman? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Brewers!